ABC TV engineers and technicians fought against Gales to make possible an experiment which resulted in the biggest crowd for a cup tie in history. Eight huge screens, 30 feet by 40, were put up on the pitch at Anfield, Liverpool's home ground, for here a capacity crowd were to watch the Merseyside Cup battle, Everton versus Liverpool. Ida 4 projectors would relay, live from the Everton arena, the entire game. A further 65,000 had snapped up all the tickets at Goodison Park. As last-minute technical adjustments were made, crowds flocked to the Liverpool ground. Tickets for the live relay were sold out within 36 hours. The gate was worth £12,000. The crowd filed in, but the dressing rooms were deserted. It was a few miles away where the two teams took to the field. But the enthusiasm at Anfield, as battle commenced on the giant screens, was as electric as at Goodison Park, where 22 men were battling for a place in the sixth round. There was a moment of drama for television engineers, as one of the screens, anchored by eight tons of steel, was slightly lifted for a second or two by a gust of wind. But for the 105,000 people watching the match live at Everton and over the direct TV link, the drama was being played out before their eyes. At last, ball had it in the net for Everton. The moment was shared as it happened by two massive crowds miles from each other, but linked by modern science. ABC TV's experiment had proved a major success. Said shankly to Yeatsy, come listen my boy I've devised a great plan that you're sure to enjoy Those Everton toffees, their progress will stop And a great celebration we'll have on the cop Oh, we'll cripple young Alex and Harvey as well and a pace on those toffees, I'm sure it will tell. And the last man left standing will be Brian Lapon. And he can't beat eleven red shirts on his own. Oh, but Shankly, oh Shankly, your planet went wrong. And those down hearted copites could not raise a song. Cause you had forgotten. The greatest of all, the red-headed dynamo named Alan Ball. In the 44th minute of a goalless report, Smith, Yates and Lawrence wrong-footed were caught, and the loose ball of husband with great force was met by the boot of young ball to the back of the net. So remember Bill Shankly, our team is supreme And yours is the dirtiest side I have seen Those Liverpool Yard Dogs, Smith Yates and St John Were a poor second best to the great Everton 